G'day guys, welcome to the 1v1 Valkyrie Test Tournament. And we're here to see the conclusion to Nat Nat and Shutter, hopefully. As this is probably the seventh game they've played due to issues in deciding, I guess, a, a agreement on the conclusion of the match. And hopefully the admin has taken uh, taken some leave of holiday after this with all the drama. I'm sure <laughs> it was a hard one to admin. But nevertheless, we should have an exciting match here with an assault squad from Shotta going to nowhere for a bit. Perhaps this is Nat Nat's host. It seems a bit of a, a weird movement there from Shotta. A bit slow. Nat Nat going to the center from the riverway. And kind of split between the center and west, so he could kind of move on to both. Ian going to launch a missile mark. Shotta not pushing in yet, only going with one guy, perhaps just to play uh, safe and grenade one and one. Molotovs. Not hitting their mark, no grenades are cooked very well at this stage. Oh, Yeti Grenade puts him away. Two more guys in the back coming. Shot now confident to send the rest, or oh, three guys in. Oh, ambush mode. Oh, nearly, nearly three. And finally, it's uh, still a few reinforcements on the outliers. Not, not trying to get into the flag again. Uh, that the center is held strong from Nat Nat, a lot of SMGs and rifles in ambush positions. And on the east, there was a small fight there, I think, with a few guys, but Nat Nat has got the better of him and will cap the eastern. So it's up to Shotter now to hold one flag to stave off the three cap. Looks like he will. Not much coming. Oh, no, there is a full assault squad coming from Nat Nat, and also a full assault squad from Shotter going to the west. Nat Nat coming in now. It's going to be hard to hold this one. Oh no, he's actually diverted his attention. All these guys, only two guys, and one guy's come here, and the rest have gone to the center. Guess uh, Nat Nat's playing cautious. I like what he usually does, doesn't like to go for three flags too often. It's mainly the European style, if you noticed. Just making sure they hold on to their points. And play a game of attrition. Slow down the game a bit, so you're forced, uh, yeah, forced to fight a very highly defended area and he's now putting all in ambush positions so that should give Shotter some breathing room you know interesting uh, purchases we see from Shotter he's got an AT infantry with the Piat and also an AT rifle uh, this is quite unlike Shotter I suppose very defensive play where these units can't really be used in the offensive at this early stage of the game but he isn't he is going aggressive with his Western defense, the best uh, offense, or defense is the best offense, as you can see. You can spot earlier. Uh, it's taken up position on this uh, decline of the hill. Some ambushing positions. Uh, to that, that looks like he just sent a few guys to spot. Oh, they're going to run into the SMG fire. Oh, but this guy, undetected because they're all facing the other way. And he may even uh, sneak into the back lines in the future. And hide behind that bush for now. The center is being assaulted by an assault squad from Shutter. Now shooting. Militia squad, so a large weight of troops grenade. Perhaps they were running and he have evaded it. Okay. And now potential successful assault from Shutter. He's got the, definitely got the numbers. I can storm the center, but most definitely storm the east and with just a few guys guarding. But here's the Chepa and probably why Shutter on the AT, AT rifle. Maybe a bit early, but the one special point from Hungary is one thing you, sh you definitely expect. And Piat's on standby, but here's the AT rifle from Shutter. Let's see if he can make the deciding shot of the game, or the start game, in fact. This is going to be crucial. Bounce! Oh, Chepa is quite hard to kill. Oh, no! No! Oh, three shots! Oh, I've been taken out! That's the thing about the Chepa. It's so hard to kill, like the 2-2, two -two, and that's why it's such a great one special point. And this is why I hate AT rifles, and that was a complete waste of a buy. And it's not cheap, in fact, it's oh, kind of cheap. So, is it? Um, 50 MP, okay, it's gone down in price. 50 MP, oh, okay, so so, I suppose. <clears throat> but he could have got an Orlicon, perhaps, if he didn't buy the AT infantry plus that. That's almost, that's yeah, nearly near to an Orlicon. And now this is uh, totally uh, put. Oh, what a nice DC shooting has kind of clutched uh, the defense here, allowing Shutter to hold on to this point, perhaps, for a bit longer. Uh, that was a big decider at the start game and may, um, oh, may look, oh, never mind, that Piat, that was, oh, it's got uh, such a close, close range, it should have been spotted earlier that Chevro 
I was playing a bit too careless and was put away. That would have sealed the coffin for Shota at the start game for the three cap and would, uh, that Piat just saved him. We've got the Humber now. He's enabled the Humber by since the Chubba's down. And now this, now will we put Shota in good stead, but oh no, never mind. Uh, European defensiveness is showing. Hungarian AT rifle, very lethal. You won't see many bounces with that gun. <clears throat> it's taken out the Humber quite simply. But still, a three cap from that Nat. Shot us struggling to get infantry on the board. Just a militiamen. Yeah. And that Humber <laughs> down as well. Three cap 28. He really 28 points, 29 points to zero. And he really needs a point right now. Nat Nat with not much though on the western. And I think he should be able to route Nat Nat out of here. And he's going there now. In a matter of time, good choice of flag from Shotter. There he's this. Oh, he's the. This is the same position. Pre, it's like deja vu. This is where Nat the Shotter snuck in the previous game, and oh, there's a pack 38 there, juicy target. Will he go for it? It's not very expensive, and probably mm, can be countered by anything. So if you leave someone spotting it, it can be HG shell from afar. Maybe that's what Shotter's doing. And there's it's still no infantry around. Shotter's just moving around it. Quite funny to see, whilst in the meantime he has also capped the western point and has finally got the numbers here, coming out the black watch as well, assault squad, and will definitely hold this point. Assault squad from that Nat, not going to do too much to change the battlefield. Right, and a pack for 38, not not, uh, not expensive enough for the saboteur's taste. They want something more juicy. Uh, here comes the assault squad from that Nat. Now uh, unaware he's waltzing into pretty much three squads on this guy at this point. And here they go for the charge. So these guys are in great firing position. Some of them struggling to shoot down the decline. So they're actually not being shot at by the Blackwatch. Uh, I think uh, it's moving in the MG Lewis gun down here would uh, do well. Oh Piat also. Look, it doesn't matter about the MG, he's just gonna use the Piat to kill the Look at that DC. Very MLG styles, the USA or the North America, or not North America, the Americas. That's the that's the style of the Americas, using the wreck control to get the upper hand, a bit of micro to tip tip over the game to your favor. <laughs> I think one saboteur's uh, lost its uh, life. Is there's only one guy? Is that two? There's only one guy yet. And he's far back, and I don't think he'll ever be spotted until he re wants to reveal himself. So that's going to be a crucial, you know, I think, in the match t in, in the match as it goes on. And it's a stronghold on the west. No infantry killers yet. Nat Nat manages to get a few nice grenades in this area. Takes out a machine gunner as well. Nice groups walking into some stem fire. The grenade rifle, very nice position, <clears throat> able to shoot down without uh, being in danger of uh, getting shot. <clears throat> Arrow Crest Fanatics, these guys have stealth too. The tank armband, fanatical armband there. Here's three uh, tidbits, they are the fanatical, uh, I guess you can call it fascist, fascist in Germany. <clears throat> Sorry, in Hungary. In Hungary. The political party that supported uh, Germany. Yeah, what's this? We've got uh, a Hotchkiss infantry killer in placed uh, to try shoot out between the west and center. Should do a okay. cane. That's actually having quite a bit of uh, success grenading from this rock. These guys are unable to fire down here. And here's the Hotchkiss. fire down here for some reason. It's out of range. No, it's not out of range, it's in range. Here's a half track from Shutter. Olicon as well. Uh, three special Royal Commandos. Dump the guys out first, just in case. Uh, waltzing in straight there to the eastern. <clears throat> Got the arrow across from the next none of them in the ambush position down this way. They're sneaking across to try and get a shot that the commanders are filling in the gaps. Doesn't matter, pack 38. Same unit that was uh, could have been destroyed by one of the commanders, or one of the saboteurs, has uh, perished. So it's killed it, I mean. 
unfortunately, but oh wow, this commander just, just waltzes in and doesn't really care. Nothing's stopping it, but Chubba from two special points, that's uh, so one special point from Nanak coming in, and we'll be able to do decent damage versus the third tier troops. Just the, there's some Piat, there's a Piat guy though here. Oh no, no. Oh no! Oh, he quick counter there, but wow. This one Aracross Fanatic took out four commanders with one grenade and still isn't spotted. Worked out very well for that, that I think. <clears throat> it's still 65 to 0. Good start here from that, that. <clears throat> grenade. The remaining commander after point. And let's see the Olicon start to do some work. Pax 38. Chip out to respond with a few HE shells if it wants to. <clears throat> Across fanatic, a walk. Oh, almost in the line of this rifleman. They still haven't spotted him. Oh no! Looks like Nat Nat's gonna have a sneaky guy here. Oh, close. Oh, still not spotted. Oh no! <clears throat> oh, what's that? Got that. Uh, oh, Hetzer is out. Three special points. Nat Nat must be quite CP capped, I think, by now. Buying the head to the counter of the Olicon. <clears throat> I think uh, Shota won't buy any sort of tank now. It'd be silly to. Uh, that uh, kind of means he's going to have infantry superiority for a bit. <coughs> he definitely has the numbers. But this is, uh, this is a juicy target now for the saboteur. Tank from that nap. Can spot behind. Let's see how this uh, saboteur goes. It, it ha has free reign now. This is deadly. It's vaulting back a bit even. Getting closer. Tank crew oh, trying to find something. Unfortunately not going to go the right way. Here it goes. Huzzah! Boom! Has taken it out. Oh, second grenade. Finishes it. Explodes. Tank crew trying to respond. We're going to go for the pack now. Oh, ho, ho, nearly just decrews it. That uh, can finish off, finish him off perhaps. SAS now has taken this point. Now SAS uh, can definitely punch a, hole, punch a hole through and take out the pack. Excuse me. Fiat. Now I can definitely finish it off. This is the power of the SAS now storming in. Maybe even, even helped out take part of the center. Nice grenade, another one. Boom! Taking it out. And here's the Cheba coming into the right. Excuse the doggers. And an AT rifle here though from with the SAS AT rifle. Well perhaps not a full SAS squad, probably it's just the elite AT infantry squad, so no AT rifle there. Chebert now has a decent uh, shot down though, has good range down the hill. Should be able to shoot downwards and there's not enough there's no I guess nothing with range to take out the Chebert. So maybe we'll have to take back the Eastern slowly. He storms in with the paratroopers. Chubba struggling to get some good shots off though. Taking long to clear off the point. It's the center. Cat from that nut. Saboteur now going to the east. So a crew AA, nice buy actually. Should be able to take everything out on this area. Saboteur is providing the line of sight. A lot of us, uh, these guys ducking down from that. Uh, Hotchkiss is still there, I guess. Yeah, Hotchkiss is still there. So center is uh, cleared out. 65, 21. Shot out coming back into this. See how the kill count goes. Wow, that, that's in the leak by quite a lot. But it doesn't really matter, I guess, early early stages. Mm -mm. Got that uh, arrow cross though. This is the one that snuck through, and oh no, it's running for it. Oh, you better be, be take your time with the shot. Take your time. He's taking his time, and we'll get it. Boom! Right at the ass. It's uh, repairable. Thank you. Oh, it's a dynamite. Oh, Molotov. Is it gonna burn the engine? It's burn the plants. And uh, now Saboteur is sneaking onto the eastern point. 
One guy, one commander guy. In this zone. One nicely placed grenade, take out the MG there. Oh, the MG's gonna grenade him instead. Boom. Chevron now coming down. So it's a good defense here from Nat Nat. Killed the main unit, now Chevron's coming straight out to play. Hoshkus in the center, a very prominent position to cover. But that uh, has recapped that as the Western Point is now being assaulted. With the cover of the Hotchkiss. But the Royal Guards, the elite tier of the Hungarians. Should be able to take it out. And a Piat shot here from. I don't know. Commander, maybe? Hmm. Don't know where the Piat came from, but took out the. Took out the Chubber. Olicon. Half track. Oh, this is the Commander buying again. He likes that. Stop buying the three pointer Commandos. Push up, get the upper hand on the eastern point. Nothing to stop it in this area. So should be able to get that okay. That's on the western. <coughs> you can stick up that flu. <laughs> so I love them. Again. Receptive. Thought it was just an SMG. That's taking out the half track. The commander is now storming in to recap. Response of a uh, paratrooper squad. Struggle to take that uh, saboteur here. We have to get through. But, uh, walking into the paras, perhaps. No, not, not yet. I can see Nat Nat's uh, capped uh, or has been fighting on the west and was able to decap it for a bit. Saboteur, ooh, can he be spotted? No, he's not going to be spotted. These guys are uh, in the shootout with the commanders. It's about the same tier. The commander's in a better position, I'm guessing. And slightly better weapons with the barrel. Should uh, be taken out shortly. Now this Saboteur, same position here, going to bite Nat Nat in the ass as Shota has decapped the center for a bit. Same as this flag, because constant pressure on all points at this stage. Piat out of, eight, out of uh, sh shots. He's the all up from killing, killing infantry. Now here's a crew A, no it's not crew A, a two pounder, wow. Okay, what do you buy? Guess for the where's the Hotchkiss? Hotchkiss is down, I think. Can't see the Hotchkiss. The Hotchkiss is all the way back here. Now moving up to the east. Correct. This one has no target yet. Uh, Olicon has a tank to protect them now, but it's just a two pounder. <laughs> Won't be able to do too much. But I suppose anything coming up or pretty much will be in danger of getting destroyed by the saboteur. Two around. It's also a two pounder, two centimeter. Sorry, that's uh, what is this one? Put, uh, 40 mm. What did I get this two centimeter from? But yeah, definitely you will outclass. Oh, Crusaders are in a great position. Close range to a 50 50 play. Take the turret and it pops out. Holycon now moving away from safety. <clears throat> Saboteur is on the move. No, Saboteur is just going to stay there for now. Uh, Shut out does have a three cap. It's got uh, some commandos down here and has is holding the east. Uh, Hodgkiss in a pretty good position. Oh no, but here's an Aragross fanatic. Boom! Takes out the crew, say that, two pounder. Uh, no MP for Shutter to respond to that. Or oh, by the little tank to respond to this and that. Now yeah, this point's in danger. The Hodgkiss is going to plonk down now, destroy these commandos. Da -da -da -da. I should take back a flag, stop the three cap, 40 to 75, Shutter coming back. And that Nat has the eastern point now, most uh, likely, shortly. He's holding on the skin of his teeth now, just doing, holding on as long as he can. Oh, nice grenade. Wow, he is holding on very well. And ducking down behind the rocks. Being so annoying, every single point counts. It's still ticking up. It was like 40, 40 like 20 seconds ago, or less than that. It's already now 10 points. Holding onto the tree cap is crucial for Shutter. Now, Olicon 
Coming back now, here comes a six banner for a shot. He's in range of the Turan. Has a should be able to penetrate, but a good gun. Oh, Turan. That shot misses Turan, can't escape the second shot. Oh no, doesn't or does it? Oh it's engine's damage, I think. Right. Oh I'll try to hit me snipe. Oh no. Oh, misses again. Six banner stand. No, not six banner stand. Where's the six banner going? I don't know. Is uh, there a controlling bit of a misclick, perhaps, or lag? Interesting. Still not firing the shot. It's actually using now the sandbags that's uh, already on the map. Yeah. Struggling. Shooting from a, a good angle, though, for the Turans. Turans angled quite well. I'm struggling to penetrate it. Also on a bit of an incline. Watch this expander. That's not having much luck. I'm actually moving back now. But nevertheless, he's still holding on to the points. Has some decent tier infantry. You've got commandos in the center. Uh, this side is uh, quite in danger. Uh, running in. <clears throat> We're capping the center. Oh, sorry, the wet east. The winner of this game will play me in the semi-finals. Both of these players are not, uh, not, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to the drama that might occur. That uh, should be interesting, nevertheless. But these players definitely like to rub it in if they win, so it's, uh, it's, yeah, definitely is in my best interest not to be annoyed. I'm like uh, Marty McFly in, in Back to the Future. They call me chicken or something and I'll just uh, get mad and want to fight them. Okay, so... Mm, interesting dilemma here. Shadow Six Pounder was like a straight dead set counter for that, but uh, didn't uh, live up to its... Uh, live up to its... Uh, what it's meant to do because of that uh, strange position this terrain is in. That incline, a little bit angled, just can't penetrate. And that is holding on. Shadow is pressure, pressuring well, and also that that's doing quite well to now attack this area, the weak point. These are parries as well. Oh, 80 grenade from Nat Nat here. This guy's dead. Oh, it did well for the UK army. Took out many guys with the PM. Now he can shadow with a regular squad. Uh, definitely going to be outclassed here. So power is now going into the sandbags. Uh, so that's an area to approach from. Sandbag is quite high. There's some grenades, perhaps. Yeah. Eastern note, capped by Shotter. 80 to 75. Very close game. This stage. <laughs> and that, that's got the Eastern, just constant uh, constant flow. Both these players sending in everything they have and losing everything they have. And sending more in and losing it again quite evenly. That's all. All he can't. Now back in action, they're going to try to bait the Turan to come. Now Six Pounders coming into action and this is a good position now. This is actually a good shot I think on the side there. Oh, misses. See it uh, get killed, definitely take, taken out there, six mana finally. It's job. Well, he can just decrude and now can be plunked down and will be a menace and should be able to hold the eastern center. So that, that should hold the west quite strong. Uh, not long to go, 82 to 75. Shadow could potentially just play it safe, holding these two flags. The Olicon six pan are going to be a hard thing to counter at this stage of the game with not much MP, I think, available from that net. And especially because it's got this saboteur. And I think uh, that, that uh, sorry, Shadow knows this, and he knows uh, everything's key is he doesn't have much money on in the bag, and that kill in that pack is going to be quite important as well. Now running away, still not even a buy from that net to respond. 
and that shows he has a very low MP. Usually you buy a squad to just route out this one saboteur, but uh, still hasn't. Definitely not an MP, and looks like uh, it's going to be quite a uh, quite difficult for Nat Nat to approach the point with the Olicon. Shotter knows this is moving closer to have coverage of the center down the railway, so through this alley. Just to survive. Oh, he does get in though. Uh, it should be easily routed out. A dusty cap. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <laughs> There's the cheap man's jibber. The command vehicle with the uh, antennae. It's just the machine gunner. Not an infantry kill, not a, I guess a first grade infantry killer. Ah, AT rifle as well, at the same time. Half track. Oh, misses Solitan. Half track may get away. Oh, hits the corner and he will get away. Oh no, and the three cap is on soon. Commandos have capped the west. And also MG's up in this position. We have to hold. Shepard Command Vehicle coming in. Can get taken out with a 50 cal all gone as well. Uh, there is an AT rifle waiting for that uh, half track. That, that's uh, holding on two for now. I'm trying to hold on to this one flag. And, and as well, sneaking into the center in the fire of the Olicon. Manages to still cap it as well. He's fighting really strong. This is his chance, only chance to stay. No, half track with the cow doesn't want to get too close. AT rifle is still there. Nat Nat uh, capping the two points. And Charlie doesn't have much infantry to respond actually on the outliers of those two flags. Well, or maybe on the west he does. Oh, AT rifle from Shut Up. The boy's AT rifle is shit, isn't it? Look at that. Bounce up to bounce up to bounce. Finally. Mm. Yeah, still looking. Mm, not really good. Commandos versus a few SMGs on the west. Center. All, all Shadow needs is a squad, I think. Still has that separate yeah? Squad of militia. Mm. And he's also got that half uh, track, so uh, that's kind of locked down. Oh no, boom. Oh, nope. Yeah, looks like West is gone too. The center's held by Nat Nat, but not for long. Militia coming in, Olicon's gonna start opening it up when the grenades get thrown. The guys stand up to throw the grenade back or to evade, and they're just gonna picked off by the Olicon. Half track now coming in. AT rifle ready, kind of. That, that's in DC. Olicon opening up. It's 94 75. Oh, here comes the Olicon. Where's the AT rifle? Where's the AT rifle? AT rifle's dead or something. No, there it is. It can't get a good shot. Oh, that, that has miraculously capped the flag, but it's too late, I think. He's lost the center. Oh no, he's definitely lost the center for good, I think. He's, he's, oh, it's an admirable fight, though. He's not giving up. 95, 75. Only one ticking up his shot is still with this one flag being taken. None of these flags are actually taken yet. That's, oh, 96, 75. Okay, 97.75. Oh, Sin has been capped by Shadow, and this flag is not going to be capped in time. Ooh, I think it's over. I think it's over, so I'll be playing Shotter. Oh, takes out the half track. Uh, no time, 99. Ooh. No, that's too slow. That's too slow. GG, Shotter. Well fought by Nat Nat. Good game, guys. Look at the kill counts though. Nat Nat uh, won in the kill counts but lost the game. Same as the game versus Hansi. 
Um, interesting how that plays out. It really doesn't matter too much about the losses in the start. Just the big ones at the end, I suppose. Arrow across Fnatic. Top scorer. Really not much uh, big units being used in this game. But anyway, good games. See you around.